can I just not? Since there's lots of parts to make this beauty, it's too hot to do this right now. We're gonna start from the top and work our way down to the bottom because that's how it usually goes, right? Am I right? No. I don't know the name of this type of hat, but all I know is it's short and wide. This is what I'm going to use. Tape measure, craft foam, preferably like really big ones. I try to find really big sheets. I have like one little sheet, but big sheets. If not, you just try to work with the little sheets. Pintura, paint, preferably matte, you know, because I don't like shiny shit. I got a big, big one of this. I use a lot of black always throughout my whole life. I have to use black because black matches my soul. My deep, deep dark soul. Anyways, glue sticks, marker, whatever marker you got, you need it. Scissors, gotta hold it like this because you know you- Why? And then this is optional, rope. I'm gonna use rope. Let's change angles for a bit. It might be shitty like camera work, but it's something. I'm teaching you something. Now with the measuring tape, you take your measuring tape and you have to put it around your head. When I measured my head, I got about 22 inches. What I would do is I would get something hard, maybe like a cord. I copied down the size and I cut it into the, the you know, the circle. Then what I did is I grabbed the big foam, right? With the measuring tape, I did two and a half. I cut it around and I, and I used two sheets because uh, it d didn't fit all the way around and then I glued it in place. It looks shitty, but with the heat you could put it against it and make it smooth. That's what I did for the top part. Now, we're gonna work on the brim. What I did for the brim is I made a ring light here. It looks kind of shitty right now, but it works. It works really well. Now, this ring light I did, it's about 14, 14 like this, but I used the measuring tape again and I got about, what, 40? 38 inches. I took the big piece, right? Put it on top, traced it around, and got this. Now, it didn't go all the way around, but it's not gonna be perfect anyways. I could always make more of this. It's whatever. It's okay. Unless, you know, you're kind of, you know, one of them. Then you could just do half and half on it. It's whatever. Do what you wanna do. I did this, and I'm gonna go with this. I would then put this in the middle. I would trace around it, we cut it, and then turn it around, and I'll try to glue the edges. What I have here is completely optional. I felt like maybe it, it kind of suits it, so I'm just gonna get it and, you know, put it on the hat tip thing for the front. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Here we go. Now this is completely optional, but I'm gonna probably do a second layer of this to make it more thicker. And plus the sticker part right here, I don't want that to be noticeable in the paint. Gentle strokes. Gentle strokes. Then fuck shit up. Here is the hat. Still needs to dry the inside, and I need to paint another layer on here. But it's it's basically done. This is where the rope and the little cross comes in. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try hook it here somehow. 
I'm just gonna hang a freaking cross right there in the head so when I wear it, it's gonna be like, you know, whatever. As far as the cross goes, I'm going to try to wrap it around the head and then dangle it, try to put it inside and dangle it down. What I'm going to do... Uh, go ahead, do the same thing. See here. So I'm gonna try to make a hole, a slit through here. And I'm gonna go ahead and carefully like cut through here. And I'm going to thread it through the hole here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Rope, hat, holds through there. Bed. I hope this is helpful. I hope you could follow this. I mean, this was a journey myself too because it was the first time making it and i'm so glad that it worked out part one of this done next up mask, mask.